All right, hello everyone. So today I want to discuss supports. Just kind of unscripted a bit why supports don't feel super fun in this game and the problems with them. So I want to open this discussion by talking about Zap, actually. And Zap is probably a weapon everyone knows. It's very common in this game. It's really well known. A lot of people hate this weapon. And a lot of people think it's too common or that it needs a nerf. Like, that's a pretty common uh, sentiment that we have here. And it's mostly because Zap is a pretty solid main weapon, paints fairly well, solid mobility, solid kill time. Like, it doesn't really have any big flaws. So a lot of people think it needs to be toned down. But I actually think that it's quite the opposite. I think Zap is just fine as is, and that other supports need a bit of a tone-up to become better. Because right now, my big issue su with support stems from the fact that Supports just aren't that good main weapons. Like, if you look at the staple supports, I think there are two supports that are completely fine in this game. And that's NZAP85 and H3D. H3D is another, like, pretty solid main weapon. It's just harder, that's why it's less common. Like, it has a potential one-shot, more range, longer distance painting. But it comes at the cost of, you know, you have more end lag, uh, 220p armor, which is not that bad with how much paint you have. But that's the downside to it. But outside of those two weapons, I think every single support in this game, in terms of painting supports that, like, get a team base special and shoot the floor, not really any terms of, like, crossfire, that'll be another discussion for stuff like Rapid Tent. We're not talking about those discussions. As one of three problems. Either the weapon doesn't have armor, which isn't an inherent problem, but the point of not having armor is it's not going to replace a support. So, for example, if you're a support player and you play Zap, you can't switch to mini and play it over Zap. Someone else is being the mini player. It's not replacing the Zap in a team comp. So when armor is a staple in 99% of team comps, then it's not going to be an option for the supports to use something that isn't an armor weapon, because it's not like they can change it off their weapon pool. Like, someone else has to play the armor weapon, and again, 99% of the situation. Number two is about Junior, the weapon on screen right here. Which is, the weapon is too much built around special spam and paint. Junior, to me, is an example of a weapon that is forced to be support because it just can't be super aggressive. Like, yeah, theoretically, it has the, not the worst kill time. But it's not the best kind of aggressive weapon out there. Junior is played because it has a 180p armor and it paints the floor really well. That's it. That's the big strengths of the weapon. And when that's all you have... There's not a lot to go off of. Like, there's not a lot to add on to support. That is what the role is for Junior. It can't really do much else. Like, there's only so much you can expand upon that concept. And there are other weapons like that. For example, Flingza, I think, is even worse. And I'll get to Flingza more later. But it's just the same concept, but with Missile. Blob is the same concept, but again, even worse. But with Bomb Rush. Where the weapons are more built around the actual paint spam than the main weapons. Which means they aren't that fun to play. Because there isn't a lot you can do with it. And then lastly, there are a few supports where the main weapon is too weak. For example, I think Gold Dynamo would be a good example. to where the main weapon is fine. The kit is fine. But it's just not, like in terms of design. But it's not strong enough to be like a staple meta support. That kind of thing. So let's talk about these three problems. Armor isn't much to go off of. The big thing about kits not having armor is mostly just that Nintendo was clearly afraid to give good main weapons armor. And I think there is no better example of this than Mini. It is like 100% clear that Nintendo didn't want to repeat Splat 1 Zimmy and refused to give it armor so that it could never be that meta again. Like, there were some weapons that Nintendo was very afraid to give armor. H3 they gave armor, but only on the condition of being 220p at this point. So they're afraid to give armor to a lot of the stronger main weapons in the game. And that means we are stuck with these kind of weaker main weapons with armor being the options, because that's all there is. And the second problem is with the special spam. Armor output becomes a big thing. Because the armor weapons are mostly weaker, their big strength is mostly about special output. So even if we had something like with armor that's really strong, Junior and stuff like that can still thrive because it's about spamming armor. So getting the quantity of armor is more important than how well can your weapon capitalize off it. And that's not 
a thousand percent accurate because zap is still something that capitalizes off its armor but we've had metas where using the armor isn't as important usually anything with junior where it's more less fight based and this is why i tend to like the fighter based metas more often where weapons have to be brawly but the big thing with that is armor output is the main thing not weapons that can prioritize you going in with their armor which puts a big limit on things but the main thing to me that's the problem is in terms of main weapons being weak so for example i want to look at flingza flingza is a weapon that's gotten a ton of buffs over the course of its lifespan and people are very happy with that and i'm not opposed to flingza getting buffs buffs are like a discussion i'll have to do another time but my big thing about buffs is that for flingza they continue to buff the vertical flick and the paint over and over and over again yeah the vertical flick getting better and the paint getting better but anyone who's played Flingza will tell you, the horizontal flick is fucking terrible. Like, it is garbage, it has barely any kill range, it's so unreliable, and that flick does not get substantial buffs. So Flingza, with all of its buffs, has now ended up becoming solid, but at what cost? The weapon is good because it can spam vertical flick to paint for missiles. Theoretically, Flingza is this weapon where you have a supportive aggressive hybrid, the vertical flick is a painter that isn't too strong, but it still has a horizontal flick that can be threatening when it needs to be aggressive. But because of the direction that Nintendo has gone in terms of buffing it, Flingza doesn't fucking move. Flingza's job is to sit in a corner, spam paint somewhere that's annoying, and get as many missiles as possible. The kit they run is last ditch effort and as much charge up as you can run. And that is terrible weapon design. Because I can totally see a Flingza that has a higher points for special, a bit weaker paint, but a better horizontal flick. And I can bet that's the weapon that most people would probably want to play. But the way the weapon has been buffed is to where it's now trapped in this style. Because now if you buff the horizontal flick, it paints way too well. You can't make it a better main weapon because it already special spams so much. You can't have both. And Nintendo has decided the special spammy style over the paint heavy playstyle. I mean over the main weapon heavy playstyle. And that is overall a big issue that I have, because for supports to be fun, they need to have stuff that they can do that's different, that's like a strength of the main weapon. And one that I really want to talk about is Kunder. Kunder, as a support, doesn't paint as well as the others, it has a pretty average special output. But the big thing about Kunder is its shield. That is a unique thing it has that other supports don't have, is it has a shield. So if you're good with Kunder, your objective is to play off of that main weapon strength as much as possible. That is what can help the most, because that's the kind of variance the weapon has. That's what makes it harder, that's what makes it more varied. And so when I see buffs that make Kunder 190p, I am happy about that, but I'm afraid of Nintendo going in the same direction they did with Flingza. Like, I'm afraid of them just giving Kunder more paint now, or making it 180p. In reality, Kunder needs a slightly better shield, not by a lot, like give it like 25 to 50 HP or make it a little bit longer. Because then Kunder is good because of the main weapon, not because of the special spam. Because they can very easily make Kunder meta right now by making it 180p and giving it better paint. But that's not the direction the weapon should be go. The weapon should be going. And I feel like Nintendo is afraid to give supports good main weapons. And that's my big thing about it is I feel like Nintendo's balanced direction with supports is that they take them to a more special spammy aspect rather than making it towards a more main weapon oriented playstyle. And I think that's something that could be very changed in the next game. I want to see more of a main weapon focus when supports are being buffed to stuff like they have this thing that they do different than other supports and they have to play around that. Like, a support should not be better just because it paints the floor better, because we can't just make every support like that. So, for example, I talked about 96, and someone mentioned what if the vanilla 96 had wall. So let's think, if a V96 had wall, your trade-off compared to all the other supports is that you don't have a lethal bomb. You don't have a torpedo, you don't have a suction, you don't have a splat bomb. Torpedo's not lethal, but you know what I mean. A poking bomb. But instead... You have this ability to wall and control space with your mid-range, you have solid damage, and you still have pretty solid paint. 
This makes 96 a more unique support than all of the others, because it doesn't have this bomb, so it struggles at disadvantage more. It's still a solid paint, but it's more about a positional playstyle and being able to control space with your wall. So it's giving more options to the support category, and it's making support more main weapon orientated rather than special spam. And there's many other ways they could do about this, like Dynamo being a slightly stronger main weapon has angles in exchange for being really slow. Like Dynamo can paint over ledges very well or play underneath ledges, but the weapon is also really laggy. It's very easy to get killed while you're in the middle of a flick, that kind of thing. And it's those kind of advantages and disadvantages that I think make the class more interesting. The other thing I want to see them do is make supports that aren't shooters. <laughs> Because most of the supports in this game, especially with armor, like 96 Junior, H3 Zap, are all shooters. I want to see supports that are different classes. Like, I want to see maybe a Dooley that's supportive, or a Slosher that's supportive and isn't Blob. There could be different kinds of supports that can do different things because they're in different classes. Right now, if you want to play support, your options are pretty much a shooter. If you want to be a support player, but you don't like using shooters, what are your options? Like, maybe Cunder? Squiffer if you want to count that, even though it's not really a support. Maybe Permabrush, even though that's not really a support. Try doesn't count as a support at all. Like, what do you have? Like, there's not many options for other weapon classes. And I'd love to see supports that are not shooters. Yeah, Mini is really the only main one, but again, Mini stuck with missiles. So having more options there is really the main thing I want to see. Having more supports that aren't shooters. But the last thing I want to talk about is the low points for special armor weapons kind of need to go. <laughs> the idea that certain main weapons can are built around special spamming is just really not the greatest thing in the world for the game. Like, weapons should have to work to get their specials. If a weapon is built around special spam, it's hard to do anything with it. Look at Junior, for example. How do you make Junior less about special spam without taking that away? If you give the weapon, like, maybe it has a combat mode where it doesn't have RNG for a little bit, then the weapon becomes too strong without turning down its paint or turning down its points for special. So to make these weapons more fun, to make them better designed, you have to take away the kind of special spammy aspect. And I do think that's an essential thing Nintendo needs to do in Splatoon 3. There can't be this many 180p special weapons. Whether it's the Junior with armor, the Blob with bomb rush, or rain, whichever one is 180p, one of them is, or flings it with missiles. Whatever special is meta, because I guarantee you there will be a meta special in Splatoon 3 that's for the support class. Like, there is going to be another armor. Maybe it'll be better designed, maybe it'll be worse designed. But there is going to be another staple support special. And whatever it is, the weapons in support category cannot be built around spamming that special, or it's not going to be fun. That's just how it's going to work. My big thing that I want Nintendo to do is focus on having main weapons be better in the supportive category, Boasting their kind of unique things about them, like H3 can flex to being kills or is more aim dependent, Dynamo's angles, 96 with a wall having no bomb, like, etc. Tone down the special spam, as I mentioned just right now. And then finally, have more variants and classes for support. Have more options so people don't have to play shooters. These are the main changes I want to see in Splatoon 3. To not just make the class better designed, but to make it more fun. Because I feel like support is a very enjoyable role that doesn't really get to show in this game. And I feel like there's a lot of ways that the weapon class can be made more fun. And by changing the design a bit and changing what weapons are meta, we can start to have support be a more fun and enjoyable role. But that's my thoughts. You guys can be sure to let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.